So there's a park by my house that has like a bocce ball court, a soccer field, a playground, a couple of like handball, you know, one of those like sporty little parks. Not like a not like a Washington Square, but like this is an activity park. I got you. And uh, so I'm sitting there. We go to a, a restaurant. They say it's going to be a 30-minute wait. And I say, well, let's go sit in the park, watch some soccer, watch some handball, watch some, some hobos shit in their hands. And she goes, great. We're sitting there drinking, and we're just talking about, you know, uh, who knows, Thomas Jefferson, fucking slaves, or whatever it was. And we look over, and there's like a group of kids, you know, 15, 14, rap scallions, and it's a bunch of girls. And she's like, look at this. And one of them just... Cole Cox won. Now they're fighting. I'm talking full on melee with like eight kids, all women, and there's one guy just going, "Hey, hey, uh, hey, easy, ladies!" And they're all fighting each other. And then the dust clears. My girlfriend's like, "We gotta get out of here. This is crazy." And uh, I was like, "We gotta watch this." She's like, "We gotta get out of here." We we so we're walking away, but I keep looking back, and they're just holding each other's hair and pulling hair like a cartoon, just hair Jesus. pull, hair pull, bent over. It was insane. That's what's scary about the ladies fighting or anyone with long hair because that hair pulling is vicious. You can just vicious. rip the neck and the scalp yes. and those chunks come out. And yes, and did, you can hold it forever. I mean, these girls, we we watched for a couple of minutes, and they, it never, they never shook. It was just hair holding, leaning over, like, I'm not letting go till you let go kind of thing. They might have been like that for three days. I mean, it's a good move because if you pull the hair, they bring the head with it because no one yes. wants their hair ripped out. Right, right. So you can manipulate where they are. Yes. You pull that head, the person's going to come with the hair because yes. they want to keep their hair. You get some uppercut action going on, but the thing is, if you pull hair, they're pulling hair, so now you're both cocked over and you're both uh, fucked. But it was it was the weirdest fight because, you know, when a fight breaks out, it's like, bah, bah! You know, it's all. It was quiet. It was a quiet fight. Interesting. That not a scream, not a peep, not a yell. And I mean, it was. I mean, these gals could throw down. It was uh, fucking hands, baby, swinging. Wow, you don't see a lot of quiet. I don't know. I've ever heard of a quiet fight. I mean, that's amazing. It was almost as if they knew, like, we're in this nice area. We got to throw down. It was like all business. Like, I'm just going to try to hurt you. I'm not going to make a scene here. It, it, it felt like this is not the first uh, melee they've had. And interesting, was there, was there any sign or clue as to what started the fight or what it was about? No idea. Of course, we start doing the, uh, the, the math. Like, maybe it was over a guy. And, I mean, it just, like a light switch. On, now it's on. It was sitting down quietly, bullshitting, and then it was on. Don't you love a fight? What's great about those events, especially in a relationship, and especially during like a quarantine, is you're like, yes, something to talk about for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Because totally. you get to be like, did you see that one girl? I saw this girl. What about that move when she did right. that? That reminds me of this fight. Like, you're just praying for anything to just explode into a conversation. Because yes. I'm out over here. I, I got oh. no stories left. I got, I, I've told her all my business. Yeah, it's, yep. it's we're just in real time now. We're just waiting for right. something to happen to talk about because otherwise it's just no, no, I know. I know you said that you in fifth grade. Your dad touched you and right. you winked at your father, whatever. Well, it's, it's also a catch 48 because you want something juicy and interesting to happen, salacious, but you also don't want bad stuff. So it's it's the best is when something else is happening to a person that's horrible and it's not you and you have no connection. Oh, absolutely. That's all, that's all you want. I mean, that's all of TV and even the news. For and the YouTube. most part, all of this shit that's happening is happening to somebody else, pretty much. And that's why it's fun. It's, what is that, a schadenfreude and, uh, you know, all that shit where you're just like, that guy got hit by a bus. Fascinating. Glad it's not me, but pretty cool. Yeah, it's always strange, especially those things that are so rare that you're like, yeah, that's never going to happen. But it does happen to that one person. Somebody yeah. dealt with that. I know. And that could be you one day, which is scary. Like, you're going to live so many minutes on the planet, and there's cars whizzing by. That guy's got a gun. He's, he's a crazy person. You're going to bump into him at some point. Yeah, very, very strange. And, uh, yeah, horrific things are going to happen to all of us. And it's weird.